بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ سیٹنگ اپ اے کلسٹر کمپیوٹنگ سسٹم آن وچ یو کین رن ہیوی کمپیوٹیشنل ٹاسکس اینڈ ریسرچ ریلیٹڈ سافٹ ویئر ایٹسیٹرا فار دس وی ویل یوز اوبن ٹو آپریٹنگ سسٹم اینڈ آئی ہیو total six computers here i'm using five of them as computing nodes and one will act as a server or login node so this this one i am logged on to is the uh, server one uh, and uh, users will log into on this computer and then they will submit their jobs or calculation or anything uh, on this one and this computer will manage the cluster and it will look for uh, available compute nodes and run the jobs accordingly so first of all the first thing is to install ubuntu on all of the uh, computers um, i have made a previous video about how to install ubuntu so uh, you need to follow that one then the next step is uh, to install the ssh server on uh, all of the computers including the compute nodes and the login node uh, this is because we'll uh, connect the computer we'll access these computers using ssh um, and uh, i i have just attached a screen to uh, server and uh, not all the compute nodes so uh, the next thing is installation of the ssh server so for installing ssh server you need to run the following commands uh, first we'll update the repository by uh, sudo apt update and then sudo apt install open ssh server after that we'll check its status and allow it through the firewall using this command uh, i'm not running these commands because i have uh, already uh, installed ssh server on all of the computers uh, because uh, i i needed them to access onto my laptop to record these things so if i run this command uh, at least i can check the status of the ssh it asked me for the password and you can see that uh, the ssh service is enabled and running it's active all right so now we have ssh server working on all compute compute nodes and then um, i can ssh in into any of the nodes i have like i have one node with this ip address so if i ssh on it you can see that i have logged on to hrg01 similarly i have hrg02345 these are five computers that i am i'm going to attach to this login node to make them work as a cluster next thing is enabling the passwordless entry on all the compute nodes and server so this will make sure that we can log into any of the node from server without entering the password again and again so uh, to do this we can run the command ssh dash keygen dash t space rsa so uh, i'm doing this on the login node so if i press enter it is asking me to save the key in the following file dot ssh idrsa i'll keep this file just press enter and uh, i'm not entering any password to make it password free enter again so now the identification has been saved in the in the following path if i want to check i can say ls dot ssh and i can see that uh, i have the files over here so now what i will do is i will copy the these keys to all the nodes so that i can uh, Uh, so that i can access them without a password from now on so i'll just cd dot ssh and uh, now i will copy these ids to the login node one by one 
So the first thing is I'm going to copy it on my first node. Uh, is these are the details for it. I'll run the command ssh dash copy dash id space username at the rate of and then IP address of that node. When I press enter, it asks me for the that node's password. I'll enter the password and press enter. Now it says that the uh, key has been added and you can try login with these details. Let's log into that node uh, to check if the key is properly added. So it should not ask me for the password now. If I press enter, you can see that uh, we are logged into HRG01 and it didn't ask me for the password. So I'll run this command for uh, all the other nodes as well uh, to make them password free. So three. Similarly, four, five. All right. I have already added it on uh, node uh, whose IP address is six. So this is done. Now we can log into any node without uh, again and again typing the password. The next thing is, uh, why why do we need to write all this uh, path every time? So we can make it short by uh, editing the host's file and adding the short names over there. So let's edit the host file. Uh, for the command for that is, uh, I'll use sudo access because without sudo you cannot edit this file, slash etc slash hosts. So if I open that file, you can see that uh, it is just uh, telling that the name of this computer is HRG server. So what I'll do is I'll add all the IP addresses in this file over here like this. So now I have told it that IP address of server is this one, node number one, two, three, four, five. And uh, I'll save this file, control O, enter, control X. So now if I SSH HRG01, I don't need to write anything else. Press enter uh, the first time it is. All right, you can see that it did not ask for the password and I was able to log in onto this node. Exit, I'll try another one too. First time you have to uh, allow it to save this key, then exit. Now, if I try it again, it didn't. It will not ask me anything. It will just log in. So it means that now passwordless login is working properly on these systems. The next thing will be uh, setting up a file system. How to set up uh, a network file system that all the computers can use and have read and write access to so that they can write all their uh, calculations or computations over there. Um, that one I will cover in the next video. Uh, just to keep the length of the videos short, uh, I will divide it into different steps. So the next step will be installation of the network file system. I'm going to record another video for that. Um, see you in that video. Bye-bye.